All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy. After quite a while, uh, this game had two episodic releases during the course of some of the busiest gaming releases of the year. I never got to play them, so now I'm coming back today to try to finish up the game. Both episodes four and five have been released, so we're going to start here with episode four. Who needs you? The heroes are stretched to the breaking point as Peter faces his biggest challenge as a leader of the Guardians. Even the resolute Drax is shaken to his core as the group fractures under the weight of their burdens. All right. Hopefully we get a nice last time on Guardians so we can remember what happened. <clears throat> there you go. Here we go. Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And I miss true power I miss her bug eyes from the movie. Is what? <laughs> Returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. Nebula, look, I don't know you like super well, even though I've seen well more than I'd like to of your life. But man, you obviously cared about Gamora. And I think you still do, so... Please, sister, give me a chance. No. All right. That's right, she, she fucked up Gamora. I forgot about that. I don't know if Gamora's gonna be all right. Not, not Gamora, Nebula, excuse me. Totally said the wrong name there. I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm just sliced in half. Yeah, that's right, she brought back her son from the dead, right? Mommy? Is that you, mommy? <laughs> So apparently I heard the choices you make in this game actually do majorly directly affect what happens in the game. As which is a, a change for Telltale games. Sometimes they don't even make make a difference at all, so. Well, you're boned. My beautiful son. You have been away for too long. <laughs> you were too weak, too selfish to destroy the forge. Ah, call my freaking and for that, controller cable here. I thank you. Now our empire, our people shall rise again. I have everything I require. You and your odd assortment of creatures. The first casualties of my war. In case you weren't paying attention, we took out Thanos. The Mad Titan. Putting you in your place? That'll be nothing. Fool! Even still you challenge me? Man, she even <laughs> sounds like old Thanos. Where do bad guys all learn to talk like that? Kill them. Yay! Oh, wait, what? What? Of course, now it starts to collapse. How convenient. Ugh. Oh, boy, quick time. Yep. Why is it collapsing exactly? 
What happened to make the temple collapse? I'm very confused. <laughs> Nope. Okay, okay, revenge, I get it. Hey guys, a little help here? What's the matter, Quill? Is the big mean lady picking on you? R2. Uh. Oh, up the square. Whoa. Group shield. And stay down. Oh shit. You couldn't have grabbed something that was like not human or uh living. You couldn't have grabbed like a, a rock or something to hold on. Uh oh. They got knocked off too. It's not going so well. The Eternity Forge is not your to- In all of your tales and prophecies, did you happen to see this? Magic! Uh. Oh, right! Not working! A lot of quick time back to back there. <laughs> oh, here we go, the generic intro music. Generic music. It will not get cut to ID matched. It's the generic shit. It's actually not so bad. Come on now, yeah. Where the hell are they falling? What was under this temple? Where are they going? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, come on, come on. They fall into the D. Who needs you? Should only be an hour or so before we get there. You excited to go camping? Of course. Can I start the fire? Okay, but no lighter fluid this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, here we go again with that. How are you feeling? <clears throat> I'll be fine, Peter. I, I, I promise. Mm. Okay. I'm. Feeling a lot better with the new medicine I got. It'll just be nice to have a weekend with you, away from our problems. Mom, are you lying to me to try to pre uh, prevent trauma? You know, it's gonna be a lot worse when you just die suddenly. It's a lost I'm cause. Not expecting it. We're too far from town. <laughs> Give it a rest. Give it a rest? And sit here in silence? Ugh, no way. Wow. Amazing. Mom? She's dead. She's dead. Drive the car! <laughs> She's unconscious, yet somehow the car's still accelerating. Makes no sense. She wouldn't be pushing the gas anymore. Circle. Okay then. Well, at least you got the car off the road. Mom! 
Ugh. Oh, Peter. Oh, my God. I'm okay. We're okay. What? Scar, is it? What, what happened? Oh, how did... How did we... We were just driving along, and then you... You passed out. I'm so sorry, Peter. If you weren't here, it would have been much, much worse. This is my fault. I... I shouldn't have been acting like nothing's... What are you... It's getting worse, baby. Oh, no. I was supposed to check into the hospital this morning, but I just wanted to give you one last happy moment to remember me by. Before they plug me into some damn machine. I should have told you. Uh -uh. No, Mom. Don't talk like that. Oh, Peter, no. We're gonna make it super sad. to understand what I'm saying. We all have to go, sooner or later. Oh, boy. But it ain't over quite yet. So what do you say, hmm? One last adventure together? Oh, uh, Mom, the car's in a ditch. We can still get to the campground before dark. It should be a clear night. Every star will be out. Uh, Mom, who's gonna get the car out of the ditch? Okay, Mom. Let's keep going. Mom, the car's stuck. Thank you, baby. We'll make sure this memory's a keeper. Oh, now it's not in the ditch. It was just in the ditch a moment ago. Now it's just on the side of the road. Okay.